Hey, what's up, you epic top decks, and welcome to the Deck Build Challenge, where each week two opponents face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, a very special guest, Mr. Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. MBT. Hey, happy to be here uh, hey. for the first time. Uh, this is the first time we've yeah, ever this spoken. this is definitely the first <laughs> time. We definitely didn't record this again, and then the footage got corrupted and lost, and I am making you do this again, and I, I totally don't feel horrible about it. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, excellent. Um, I'm glad to hear that that's the case. Uh, I will say, if that did happen, I think likely I went 42-0, and 0, uh, you never got a single card on board, and I looked like a genius. So if that doesn't happen this time, it's 100% because of unlucky draws, uh, sacky top decks, etc. Exactly. And, and given the fact that it was my mistake, I will agree that that was what happened. <laughs> yeah, of course. But... Yes, yes. Uh, all that aside, we are playing uh, a, a, a very interesting challenge. Pretty simple, but pretty revolu not revolutionary. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's pretty neat. So this is this is the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! for future. sure. This is something I call top deck format. I think I was looking in your Discord server and they were calling it hard leg format. Very flattering. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, top, top deck format. Basically just... Uh, instead of drawing an opening hand of w five cards, you only get the one card. We've also banned any card that draws two. So the idea is that hopefully, instead of this de this uh, format of build a board or playing through a whole bunch of things to OTK, you're just dealing with one card each turn. Hopefully slow the game down in the way Lynx didn't quite do. It doesn't know exactly what you're talking about. work. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, think think how slow the game is now. It's fantastic. You've got uh, Crusadia Dragon Thunder, which if you're not very good at the combo, it can take up to 20 minutes to do yeah. a single game. <laughs> that, that, I think I'm going second. I feel like that name wasn't long enough for what you said. Are you sure it's just Crusadia Thunder Dragon? It doesn't have like four other now four other archetypes in there? Crusadia, uh, Thunder, Danger, Dragon, uh, Reactor, Orcus, uh, Crystal Beast. Yeah. Dark Dark Scorpion. Um, dang. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go for this one. Ah, the Neos Path. I think I Rana walked that path many years ago, and it did not work out well for him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have been afflicted with terminal dual links brain. This is all I know how to do right now. <laughs> I just remember and him then, talking uh, about, he, he made that legacy of the worthless about Neos. He's like, to this day, I still get salty Neos players commenting about how Neos isn't worthless anymore. As someone who uh, also makes videos for decks that routinely are not played because they're terrible, uh, there are of players that will defend to the death the deck they're playing. And it's always the hero players, it's always the dark magician players. Those two groups specifically just <laughs> want to fight. They show up, like, ready to kill you. Yeah, I, I was really interested in making a hero deck. I wanted to try vision heroes. And then I remember someone else made, like, a hero profile, and I just went to the comments, and it was just all these people like, I've been playing heroes for 13 years, and you, sir, are a charlatan. <laughs> You must be playing Burstinatrix, you fool! Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't think I got to do this last time. This is always a fun Oh, thing. you're synchroing with my... That's my <laughs> monster! A fusion synchro. Ha ha. Oh, Christ. Kite Drake. Uh, if you had okay. a field to blow up, it would do that, but it, it doesn't. Um... I can probably still make this work. Oh, that actually, uh, that does the job. So, if this card is synchro, wait, this card is sweet. Oh, yeah, this card is amazing. <laughs> Especially considering you can, like, kaiju your opponent and then use Malicious Magnet to make something with the kaiju. Ah, this is powerful. <laughs> okay, I, th I think I do have the out. People sleeping on uh, Kite Drake, or Speedroids, I tell you what. Especially Frankly. Malicious Magnet, you can, uh, there's that Taka Tomborg can summon it out of the deck. Oh my god, I forgot that Taka Tomborg is like an archetypal card, and yeah. not just, uh, Garnet for Terror Top. Just like Terror Top, uh, into Taka Tomborg, into Malicious Magnet, into turning your monster into a field nuke. This is just, um, what's his name? 
a battle ball from the super heavy samurais, right? Yeah, essentially. Except it works with, um... I believe it has to actually synchro summon something. Battle Ball's oh. got this weird, like, ignoring the summoning conditions thing. I but it also, uh, it, it has to send the monster to the graveyard, so if you use it on a pendulum, it just goes to the extra deck and nothing happens. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, so, uh, obviously we're supposed to banish Brave Neos here, uh, but I want to show off this thing that my Discord thought up, which oh. is Link Summoning Al Mirage, and then Link Summoning Security Gardener. Uh, to fulfill the entire condition of Makaba. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you don't Hilarious. need a, a uh, light monster. We'll have correct. to rely on one of my light monsters. I regret to inform you, though, there's one thing I'm really good at in this game. It's knowing which number is bigger than the other number. Eight. <laughs> no, mine is a nine and yours is an eight. That's how it works. Oh, well then. I guess I just reevaluate my entire life then. I can do this in the damage step, right? Okay, sweet. Should be able to. We're gonna find out. Honest. Like, <gasps> you play Honest in top deck format? That's the most dangerous game. Oh, this has an it's effect when it's destroyed. It floats! Um, kind of. I think I actually have to, neg I have to negate this, I oh. think. <laughs> I can't beat the second Malicious Magnet. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I could it. grab a Malicious Magnet and then make a... No, there's no, there's no level 10... Uh, Machine Damn it. Wind I Link. I should have let it happen. Yeah. Let's, it's fine. i actually been saving the out since the ah! first turn. <laughs> Good old Night oh. Dragolich. This is like okay. Neo Goat format. It's all about those one cards that can change the game for you. Uh, I'll, I'll just... I'll play here all day. <gasps> I, I do not care. That has a hundred more than mine. This card's a two, by the way. Um... It's Airblade format all over again. Will we ever get it back to three, or will it be oh. too broken? Unironically, put it back to one. Um, <laughs> I, I know this is a I know this is a hot take. Uh, I don't know if you got to see any of the gameplay from the Pro Play Games event this weekend, but uh, Hero you... is like maybe a real deck. Oh yeah, Heroes. I, there's a reason I wanted it's... to play Heroes. They're kind of amazing. It's so frightening. Destiny there... Hero Dystopia is a hell of a card. There's there's just. It, it's it's not just that they're good, it's that there's so much they can do. Like, with mm -hmm. all the different heroes just mashing together now. Sometimes you get to go, oh, wait, I can make Trinity, and you just kill your opponent from, like, 8,000 life points, like you get to play Utopia double. Yeah, pretty much. It's like that, you can lock down the graveyard with Dark Law, Dystopia's a thing, fucking Destiny Hero Plasma in the Year of Our Lord 2019. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't believe that they get to tech a Plasma. Um, and if you lose to Plasma, you actually have to quit Yu-Gi-Oh. It is the law. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Uh, I did draw the most powerful card in my deck. Miracle Contact? <laughs> so tuck back Neos and Brave Neos. <gasps> this card that can't deal battle damage. Must be Fusion Summon. Gaze attack equal to half the attack of the warriors used as... Okay. Does nothing. Hot nothing. Oh, it can attack twice, but it's like... If it attacks me, it just puts away his sword, takes out a feather. Just give it just a little tickle. He's, yes, please stop, sir. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I wish I'd been playing some, like, good cards. I maybe should have added Neos so I could just summon Brave Neos again. God, that would have been <laughs> really funny and also terrible. Man, in this format where you get one card a turn, you sure have a lot of cards. <laughs> Yeah, uh, somehow I've ended up with, like, a full grip, like a TCG-sized... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let it begin! The great shuffling of our time. Every single gusto in the entire game. Let's find out. All the gusto, with removal put down to so little. Um, let's see. Do I want this? Yeah, defense mode. Let's My goodness. just... Um, let's see... Okay, malicious. I'm like, this thing can summon malicious magnet out of the graveyard, but it's like, no, it has to be during my main phase. That would be a sweet combo. I would actually just concede, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, in the in our first bout of this, I played a lot more gustos, so that I could. Thank I God could for OPTs, more. by the way. Yeah, none of them are once per turns. 
all part of the plan. And now we polymerization for God. <laughs> Not even playing a Cerberus. I have no hmm. no uh, respect. Eh. Oh yes! Let's just. We are back. really dual links now. Yep. <laughs> Quill pen of Goldos. Let's just put that back, if in you don't mind. I'm gonna summon it again. Don't you worry. <laughs> he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back. Get the Bill Wirtz clip lined up. But he came back. Oh wait, did I just shuffle Can't all my the... good ones back? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> um. It's so there's gotta be. What do we have? A four. Oh, wow. Special summon, it's effects are negate. So even on my turn, I can't use... Okay. Um, Alright, that's fine. I could, I could still make a... Oh, wait, no. I just have this in my hand. Okay. We're oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's flow <laughs> roll. Oh, what do you know? Oh, what do you know? I just, just gotta go ahead and make a little freeze. Just have a little freeze okay. time. So, this is what you, uh... This is what you missed out on yeah. last time, <laughs> is me getting completely blasted by Freeze. But you said you, you added in a little removal, didn't you? A small amount of removal. The issue is... I feel like you can just make Freeze again if I kill it. <laughs> I, um, I'll, let you, I'll let you in on a little secret here, buddy. I only have one Freeze. Uh, so if you that kill is... it... I can't make it again. This is great news for me. Also, um, I didn't mean I, I tried to call you buddy to be nice, but whenever you say buddy like that, it always comes off as intimidating, and I apologize. <gasps> Eccentric. This buddy. <laughs> Listen, buddy, you're about to get your shit pushed in by a little little uh, arch fiend. I don't even know what she is. I don't know um, how she can see with that mask on. Also, oh, no, we're not summoning this. I oh, yes, we are. Eccentric. She's got that little staff. Does that have Spider-Man's face on it? Uh. It looks kind of like a purple Spider-Man. Maybe it's just me. It is close. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get sued by Sony or Disney or who, who owns him today. Who, who knows? The more important question is, does it matter? The problem is the people don't own him and they really should. And will the gentle laborer no longer <laughs> suffer under the oppressive yoke of our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? <laughs> Seize the means of Sony movie production, I suppose. There's got to be an end to the Gustos. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. I see that the answer is that there is actually not an end to the Gustos. I only play the not three on. of them. I just play three of the three, so that's upwards of three Gustos. Oh boy. Just what I always wanted. Um. All right, what can I do now? Oh this... wow, these draws! I I searched. I got that back last time. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> my inability to take notes. I blame Konami. What do I got here? I've got um... seven. Can I? Am I getting trished this game? No, I wish. That Trish just... win. That that would just be that would make my day. That would just bake my waffles, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Am I getting purple, Trish? No, you're getting puzzled. Oh, oh for a game okay. Of disappearing bears. Okay. <laughs> One hundred more. <laughs> it's it's not the best thing, but if you happen to have a level three and I normal summon malicious magnet, I can make it. Ah, oh, fuck. Why am I allowed to play these cards? But cl clearly, you only played one Mechaba, right? Uh, that is correct. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> to go into my ultimate move. Wait, is there actually... Do I have the requisite material for this? I do! <laughs> uh -oh. oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. Four. I'm shaking in my boots. Finishing. Salaman Great. Al Mirage. Oh, no. My gustos. <laughs> are there are there uh thing Are there what? things uh optional? I hope they're optional cuz I kind of don't want to summon into this thing that can pierce and attack everything. 
We're gonna find out right now. I have... Oh. Oof, my most of me. Oh. Well, I don't think it really matters at this point. Yeah. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, my heart served me well. I can't. That's fine. No, I'm good. I can still. Okay. Well, you have that, so I, I'm like, I could put in marshmallow on, and I was like, no, no, don't. That'll be the Please. end of you, good sir. Um. All right. Um. I'll stuff just, out here. I'm just gonna stay. The I. I have enough. I have like a 50 card deck, and there's enough variety that I'm like, I could probably draw entirely different stuff this game. Exactly, that's the spirit. I am going to take out the invoked because I I have I think something just a little bit more fun. Okay. That I draw into. Uh, I unfortunately fate with this. Oh, I'm sorry. You cut out there after unfortunately. Oh, um, I was just talking to myself and saying I'm really, really tempting fate. <laughs> With what I'm currently attempting here, spin the uh, This bones. is what we call in the industry move. Um, Cry havoc and let loose the dogs of war. Uh, the I'm slip rider, the dogs of war. I'm gonna go first. This. Oh, great! This is the best. Okay, I guess it's not the best in quotation marks thing I could have drawn, but. Well, my my hand is actually awesome. <laughs> my hand is really it, rad. It glows with an awesome power and tells you to defeat me. <laughs> I will teach you the meaning of uh, anthropomorphized uh, beta fish. Ah, I see. I, I was going to say that I already know that, but I'm thinking back of all the decks I've played, and I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to teach me the thing of water, and it's like, no, nah, I played uh, totally ice barriers one time. I know how water works. <laughs> I'm familiar. Uh, it's not, you know... In Master Not Wall optimal. 3, it wasn't awful, but... <laughs> right. Time for the most powerful card in the game. Uh, fellas, let's see some pacifist emotes in the chat. <laughs> so I do have a non-effect monster, but the joke's on you, I'm not playing any control spells. Hmm. Wait. You cannot normal summon effect monsters a turn once per turn. If you normal summon exactly one normal monster, add one phantom. Um... Okay, so that's just a free token generator regardless. Is true. I see. And I intend to use it to get an equip spell. Oh, good. Uh, someday this is going to be a problem. Oh, fuck. The amount of spell uh, trap removal I have is limited. <laughs> I am going to turn off pacifists uh, like a good player. And then we're going to go like this. Coral anemone, just so I can do this. Just get stuff back. <laughs> hmm. I'm not liking where this is going. Am I going to get um, two marbled rocks? Ah! I'm not playing two marbled rocks. <laughs> How dare you insinuate I would stoop so low? Boral sword? No. Okay. Boral Sword? <laughs> good cards? No way. Uh, this isn't lethal, is it? Oh, good. No. Upsetting end to the game. Oh, it is lethal. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know what you have set. Uh, you forgot about my set card, Kai. Shoot! <laughs> oh, no! Ha-ha! Morale tech. Ha-ho! Oh, and my pacifist is off. Oh, my, my marbled rock the battle. You know what, actually? I think I'm fine. And now to show what I <laughs> Come on, deck! What are you doing here? <laughs> Alright. Yes! <laughs> Reborn the monster! This is what I drew my first turn. <laughs> Excellent. Give me the token. Give me the crash! Only to a normal monster. That's fine. <laughs> you don't control any normal monsters no, anymore. <laughs> Wait, wait, we can talk about this. I mean, we can, but it's uh, all I'm going to say is die in a very shouty voice. All right. Set another card and pass. And then I Ixy summon my Link 3 and my level 5. All right. Uh, let's go Future Fusion. Do not MST this. Oh, my God. Okay. 
implying so I, I have can, MST. I can do Trinity. Fun. Oh, this isn't Trinity format. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'm doing it anyway. Wow. <laughs> um, let's see. They're all bad. Ah, fuck. Oh, wait, it's only once per turn, right? Okay, good. That is correct. I will not be going plus four. Good. I was worried this was going to be like that situation where the, the ritual player dumps a whole bunch of stuff from their extra deck and it's like, I'm going to activate seven chain links. I hope you don't mind. This is fine with you, right? Um, yes. That is perfectly fine. No! <laughs> I'm being artifacted! I should have known. I'm like, yeah, 50 card deck, two of these just happen to have the artifact sanctum. Oh, but I'll teach you a lesson here. Hmm. That lesson is, wait, shoot, wait, I think I'm being taught a lesson. Oh. So many decisions. On the one hand, you're going to have a big equip monster. On the other hand, if you summon Trinity, I'm going to lose. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 don't go for the feed. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't allow uh, this to happen. It's okay. I was really hoping that just at the start of your standby phase, I could activate Scythe when your future fusion was about to go off. Oh, it looks like... Oh, wow. Can I really do this? Oh, you're about to... Oh, you're about to feel it, boy. Oh, so, I, unfortunately, I already feel it, Mr. Krabs. Don't worry. Unfortunately, in order to trigger Crash, I have to deal battle damage to you. But uh, you got some big chonkers there. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to channel... And show you my ultimate ability to tribute summon. summoning <laughs> a monster. And you know what? Let's put Crash on him too. This this makes him do <laughs> piercing, and he could summon another copy of himself if I was playing one. I think I have to go for. Oh, so that, that was I don't the get, like... okay. See, I thought so that was the one. I, I didn't read it. I thought that was the one that gave him 500 attack. I was like, if I let that go through, I'm doomed. Um, oh, no, I'm playing a bad card. Oh, okay. Um. And it does piercing, you fiend. Uh... <laughs> oh, in four turns, you're really toast. Oh, you're so dead. Well, then. Doesn't that just rattle my tattles? Um, your move, holy man. <laughs> I'm really drawn well here. Oh, my... <laughs> God. I, okay, meanwhile, um, not drawing so well, it would seem. <laughs> At least but you I get this a... marble. <laughs> At least you don't have a second one. Now it's just your monsters versus your monsters. Uh, we're just playing vanilla beatdown at this point. Why am I even here? Just to suffer? <laughs> Every night I feel my leg. My hard leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. That's how we're going to end this game for sure. Uh, finally, the last of my monsters will be removed from the battlefield. Oh, okay. I guess probably the right idea is to hit the set card and maybe win by piercing, but like, fun. I could kill you with one pencil, but two is more fun. <laughs> All right, there we go. Here we go. Let's let fate decide this one. Is that is that the dice jar? Are we about to <laughs> whoa, dice whoa. jar this? No, no, no! It could be anything. <laughs> no, 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 no! It could, uh, it could be anything. All right. The first thing I'm gonna do is um, this, uh, to bring us down to a healthy uh, 600. Oof. And uh, and uh, let's uh, let's roll some dice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now it's anybody's game. You better hope that's not double marshmallows. The issue is, I'm like, man, it would be so easy to not lose to a uh, under here. All I have to do is go into Nightmare Phoenix against the artifact deck. <laughs> you could risk it. It's probably fine. What are the chances that I drew into my third sanctum? Your 20th artifact? Um, I'm gonna risk it. I think that uh, this can't get any worse. Yeah, probably not. Okay, alright. 
I mean, you're not dead, but I think hey. it saves me from the piercing, unless that equip card has something that I don't know about. Neither are you, dang it. So the traps can actually re-equip the equip cards from Graveyard, uh, which would be nice if I was on them. Yes, very much. I appreciate you not completely devastating me on my own show. Oh, I'm gonna have to get through the Gusto <laughs> Chain! The Gusto Chain? There's only nine. If you can get through all nine, you're good. I'm ready. And two of oh, them are no! here! Oh, uh, how many layers of freeze are you on right now? Um, I think there's just the one, but you know, because of that dice jar, I think I only need and suddenly one. things are, uh, <laughs> things are not looking so hot. The world is a vampire, do 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 Um, let me think about this. Two, three, five, okay. You know, okay, I could just crash freeze into you. That's probably the smart play to make. And... <laughs> yeah, actually, that's what I have to do, because everything else will kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was like, oh, I could do something cool and clever and, and, and uh, interesting, but no, it would just immediately kill me. I'm like, oh, I could survive I one more understand. turn. No, that's fine. Now we get to go into the third duel. Wait. Oh, that's what you think. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't immediately... Okay. Whatever. No, no that's fine. Uh, um, another dice jar. <laughs> Surely you can't win twice in a row. <laughs> or you can't lose twice in a row. I forget, did, did you happen to see uh, the, the Mind Games deck I did this year? No. No? I did not. I did for, for April Fools, I always do like a Mind Games deck. And the whole idea is I set it up like their live duels... Uh, but they're actually all like scripted out and everything, and I and like I happened to win with like the jankiest, most ridiculous nonsense stuff that you could possibly imagine. There's like one where I like activate uh, honest and collude and uh, like utopia honest and yeah honesty neos and uh, what's his name, uh, Alistair the Invoker. Like I activate all four of them in one turn. On like one, on like two monsters, but there there was one uh, where it's like I win because I got double dice jar, and just burned my opponent for twelve thousand. And it's like, oh, pe people, and they're like, how did you stage that? How is that possible? I'm like, well, you see, we replayed the duel about three hundred times until it happened. See, fool. It was a lot of work. Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, there we such go. Such is life. So it goes. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. That was a real, um... What's it called? Barn burner? Strat right there. Uh, burn is pretty close. Okay, clearly yeah. the dice jars aren't doing it for me. They were a nice idea. It's always cool to bring in stuff people haven't seen before. If you haven't seen Dice Jar, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> I forget Let's who it was. There was some, some Yugi tuber back when they had the uh, the turn that the world tournament was in Las Vegas, and to celebrate, they put like the one dice jar in their their deck. And I think it ended um, up doing something. I forget. This would be a funnier I, story if I remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just uh, in post, could you please edit the uh, the interesting version? <laughs> yeah, just 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 edit a bunch of applause in so people think I told something interesting. Oh, fantastic! Oh, oh thank my you. God! I'll be able to loop that the entire the entire like hour long audio that we have. I'm I'm boarding into the optimal the optimal build version of, of your deck. one card. Um, and I think that unfortunately means boarding out of the heroes. <laughs> uh, sorry, friends, you've served me well, but it turns out that uh, Stratos does not win the game on his own. Exactly. You either die right, the please. hero, or you live long enough to see yourself replaced by kaijus or something. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay, um, I really underestimated how much of my deck is hero. It's actually like 60%. <laughs> so I could play with like a 10-card deck, and uh, it would work. Also, you know um, what? That, that, it, it, now that I think of it, why are evil heroes not elemental villains? Wouldn't that make a lot oh, more sense? Wow, what a missed opportunity. I'd like to see some... That's e incredible. That, that's a whole nother lie. I want to see elemental villains, destiny villains, vision villains, the double V. 
Asian villain. <laughs> oh. All right, I got to find four cards to take out. Well, Miracle Contact, I apologize. <laughs> um, oh, you're getting rid of Neos? You must be really serious. Uh, I'm not getting rid of Neos. I'm getting rid of the worst Neos card. Also, I'm just realizing you've been here the entire time and I haven't told people to subscribe to your channel yet. I think that was the oh, first yeah. thing I did last time. And then this time I just we got to talking and now it's like, oh, I'm just having fun with, with my good friend Joe. Two Joes just hanging out. Like, oh yeah, this Joe. is also a business arrangement. Go to MTB's channel, damn it. He needs uh, more yes. subs. If, if you he... do, um, make sure to let him know that Hardleg sent you. Exactly. And uh, after getting uh, your face beaten by A-lister, um, I would understand if you didn't want to plug the channel. That would make <laughs> sense to me. No, no. Let's try second again. I, like I said, I, I I think I told you last time. Like, I, it's very rare that someone points me to a to a uh, smaller Yugi tuber, and I'm like, oh yeah, their content's really good. Usually, it's like this needs a lot of work, but maybe there's potential. But yeah, yeah like, no, I, uh... no, you just you you've got the charisma that a lot of amateur Yugi tubers don't usually have. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that and lying to these great people. And I'm going to appreciate you a lot more when you eat my lavender dusk. That that sounds lewd, and I don't think I want a part of it. Uh, now, unfortunately... Um... Target. <laughs> don't OTK me, alright? You got it. I'll just set something that's certainly not Augusta. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, then let's, uh... But he came back. The first, the number one thing you want to see when you're playing Wind Witches is Glass Spell. Uh, best <laughs> card in the game. Uh, gets you Ice Spell. Over the course of three turns, you're really gonna hate how this turns out. <laughs> Eventually, man. I mean, like, at some point. Hey! The Glass Spell effect locks me into Wind Monsters? <laughs> I hate this goddamn card. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm dystopia. I'm steaming mad. Ooh. We'll just get that out. There we go. Get him, Lavender Man. Oh, you, you, you'd attack a little girl and her penguin just running through the woods? How dare you. I really only have the one target. Where the hell is the blue one? Ugh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Reborn the Tengu. <laughs> God. No. What? Bro, I really wanted the crystal wing. <laughs> no, stop it. It's not cool. It's so cringe, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. Hello, you. Oh, yeah, but I, I was just going to say, what, talk. speaking of my ch you've distracted me from pimping out your channel. I was just going to say, if, if you haven't seen MBT, he does, like, 10-minute testing, which is kind of like if you if you took a what a deck and just compiled it, just like 100 words per minute, down to, like, a 10-minute 10 10 minute variant. Except you do decks that even I, like, couldn't make work. You somehow make them work. You're a much that better is. deck builder than me, if it wasn't already obvious. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. Um, I've played some whack, whack shit. Yeah, but you, you still managed to, like, eke out something with it. That's a, it, was the, it was the Battle Wasp thing, because I had just played those on stream. Because people were like, oh, Battle Wasp, they're like the new Black Wings, try them out. And I spent, like, an hour just, like, trying stuff, and I couldn't even <laughs> synchro once with them. <laughs> Against, like, the jankiest uh, who, of jank. Whoever was the person, uh, I assume in your chat or Discord or something, that told you Battle Wasps are the next Black Wings, please send your information <laughs> to me so I can thank you in person for <laughs> such a convincing lie. <laughs> oh my god. It was one, well, that was, I had a poll, and I was like, which of these five decks are you interested in seeing? And Battle Wasps won the poll. Oh, wow. People are really, really... They really want to see terrible decks do stuff. And Battle Wasps are just like... They, like, I don't think I've played a deck like that terrible in a long time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Freeze is not a card, I assure myself as I crash into the Reborn Tengu. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there if I want to or not. 
It'll exist at some point. Hey, defense mode. Makaba, uh, not once per turn, right? Just checking? Correct. Thank God. Because otherwise, this would be a bad play. Back into attack mode. God, how aggressive. Okay, now we go into Cerberus. Ah. Oh. But you have the negate, so I can't make you... Okay, that's fine. I'll just do one of these. No! <laughs> Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Except for... Wait, does this do defense? It red. does. Oh. oh, you didn't You didn't want to discard it? Oh, okay. That could have been really good. Um... Thought about it. <laughs> I considered it, I tell you what, but... Okay, so there is a fire in Grave, but if I do it... Oh my gosh. Travesty. <laughs> okay, here's what we can do. Go ahead, make it, it'll Normal. be funny. Okay, let's do... It will actually be funny, for what it's worth. <laughs> okay. I'm just sad this We, is we can do a lot of damage, but it's, it's not enough. A lot oh. of damage damage. Okay, this is... You have how many Tengus in Graveyard? Four? Great. <laughs> okay. If I get Quill Pen of Goldos, you're gonna be sad. Possibly. Oh, I'm gonna I mean, regret it. One of your monsters will be. The rest are probably gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, you better watch out when I find that Quill Pen. Attacking with Alistair? Well, I mean... Damn it, Tengu. He... <clears throat> it's mandatory! <laughs> Please switch to attack position. I'm looking to take some damage off his freeze. And uh, we could invocation. Does not summon from graveyard, of course. Neo, I thought you took out the Neos fusion. I couldn't. I could. I had to remain <laughs> true to myself. You're deceiving me, Joseph, but I'm not sure I appreciate that. I will take Vion. He's so purpley. God, I love Vion. God, he's so great. He's just the best hero ever printed. All right. So now for one of my spicy texts. Oh, what the hell is going on? Something one of my people taught me. Oh, no. We just get, the, Him? get this, and then we do one of those. Just hey. a dang old one-card combo Madu. Right. Love, that love that Konami that. prints cards like this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, I I will, I will let you in on my favorite in joke. Um, the two with my friends, not even with my channel people, about an, a person at Konami named Johnny Konami, <laughs> whose entire job is to print cards that combo with themselves, <laughs> and every time they do, they're just so pleased with themselves. Uh, Psy Reflector is one hundred percent developed by Johnny Konami. <laughs> You should do this, okay. and it gets you this, and this goes in the graveyard, and then it can summon it back. Alright, how do we do this? So, what does Stardust Dragon Assault Mode do? Let's just go uh, to my old pal, Yugapedia. Outside uh, so... resources? That's cheating. Uh, this is, uh, this is my friend, uh, Edward Yugapedia. He, uh, he... Ooh, I, I just... He's just here to... I wonder if that would, if there'd be any way to do that. I, I just thought of, like... Another deck build challenge idea, like play anime mode, where you can't read any of the card text. Ooh, that's a good idea. Like that's how I actually played Yugi Yu-Gi-Oh Pro Forever, which is why I'm so bad at reading. <laughs> you just change all the fonts to like some super tiny thing, and then it's like, what does my monster do? I guess you'll have to guess and find out. <laughs> okay, so now you now you know what it does. Yes. To figure out my monster for me, you'll have to answer my riddles three. <laughs> um, let me figure out what it does. Uh... There it is. Oh. Well, that's dumb. If I do that, you win. <laughs> is that correct? I just have to hope you, like, link away all your monsters into something big and then activate its effect. I just here's a ten dollar bill. If you could just go ahead and do that, I'd appreciate it. Maybe you, you'd something... like me to. 
You'd like me to blow up my entire board? I think I might be able to manage that. Just something sense. unexpected. Make like a Boral Guard. Something that wouldn't be able to get over this anyway. <laughs> uh, let's try this. Polymerization. One, two... Oh. Well then. I forgot that existed. A man! The myth! The legend. The assault mode. Um. Stardust Dragon, protect my life points! Well, there goes one of my one card combo. Them again! Unfortunately, uh, that's all I have. <laughs> Fortunately, I think that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> Likely. I think I actually did have lethal if I sent this Stratos in hand instead of one of the Vions. No, I was 100 off. It's okay. My face down will protect me. Uh, Surely you cannot I get rid of that. Really want it to be an artifact, so I am going to do this uh, for mimetic value. Okay. Well, I, I, I totally appreciate it. <laughs> Excellent. A hundred percent. One one million percent. Just what I wanted to see. You're just what I needed. -doo 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 I can still banish away this idiot in my extra monster zone. Well. Ugh. After 10,000 years. <laughs> I'm free! And then you jump out of a dumpster. I'm gonna do that. And you know what? Let's uh, let's do another one too. No! <laughs> Give me the French fries. Oh, he can search himself! Oh my god! Yeah. Who printed this shit? I'm pretty sure you can like do some sort of thing and like link them away, and I'm already dead. And I had got us some sweet revenge in my hand after I set that mo <laughs> artifact. Did you actually? Oh yeah. my god! I was like, if you hadn't bumped it up so much, maybe I would have had a chance. Oh, that actually would have been the most hype thing ever. Uh, uh, let's play the game 300 more times to 300 facilitate. more times, just until I get got Yeah, it got us a sweet revenge. I had Mahad I never drew into. Rank up magic the <laughs> seventh one. That showed up in the... Um, uh, in the previous, the Lost episode. Yeah, the, the original Lost episode got to show all that. It's nothing better than Goddess of Sweet Revenge into DD Esper Star Sparrow. But God. you know what? That's that, that's my fault for losing the footage in the first place. How could you do that? Actually, I am quite happy that that embarrassment is not permanently going to stain my reputation, which is otherwise crystal clear. Yeah, so, uh, by the way, if there's any animators out there who would want to animate 45 minutes of footage for exposure... <laughs> I have all the audio. I just don't have any of the video. Also, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll put a poll down. Maybe we can release the audio as like a podcast bonus or something for people. I don't know. Talk to your landlord about using exposure for currency this month. <laughs> uh, it, it'll work out. Trust me. Hey, how about I rent this apartment and in exchange you could be on my Yu-Gi-Oh channel once a week. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, it, oh. People people talk about working for exposure. When are we getting renting for exposure? Running for office for exposure? Uh, you know. Exactly. But e either way, it was pretty fun challenge. Like I said, I really I really like this kind of format. I think you probably need a couple tweaks or something to it. But I think it could make it into something really interesting with just maybe a few more rules. Yeah. Maybe um, like I don't know. I I don't think you want to limit searching entirely. But maybe like there's got to be some way to do that. Yeah, there's got to be some simple way to do it. I think that's Point something we mentioned last time because because you actually do Trinity format stuff on your channel. Uh, occasionally, we're trying to move it to the Trinity format Yu-Gi-Oh channel because um, it real talk it tanks my engagement, uh, and the people on my channel don't want to see it anyway. <laughs> They all show up in the comments, they're like, what is this terrible format? And I'm like, you play Yu-Gi-Oh! You should be well acquainted with terrible formats by now. Yeah. I mean, from from what I heard, it works pretty well. I just don't like it because it's, like, a bit on the complicated side. Oh, it's a ton of fun, but unfortunately it does nothing to resolve the uh, complicatedness bloat that plagues Yu-Gi-Oh! to this day. <laughs> yeah. I've tried, I've tried a bunch of stuff in the past to make formats that, like, 
Like, oh, what if we just, like, limit you to special summoning, and then, like, or, like, limit special summoning to three, and then Yosinjus come in, and they're like, oh, hello there, we're here to ruin your game. Ah, uh, this doesn't count? Great. Or just like, oh, give, give them increased life points, but then people find ways, like, oh, then you gotta ban all these cards that have to do with Ancient Leaf and... I was gonna say, uh, Shades to and... Tag Duel, no Ancient Leaf... Like, Highlander format. No Mega I don't know, maybe 60-card Highlander top deck format. Maybe that would finally fix it, or maybe it would just be whoever gets their, uh... What's this guy's name? Psy Reflector first wins. Hit it, boys. We've solved Yu-Gi-Oh. No negates. Ban all tuners. <laughs> no negates, no Monarchs, no extra deck, uh, no True Draco, uh, Final one summon per turn, anime Final... rules only, Final <laughs> Countdown in effect, um... <laughs> And then after 10 turns, we do last turn, and whoever makes the best reference to the abridged series wins. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. There's MTB official format. Check out his channel yeah. to learn more about it. Content coming soon. <laughs> yeah, please do not <laughs> promise any content. <laughs> Anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed. The, 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 I hope you enjoyed this, everyone watching. I hope you enjoyed this, Mr. Joseph. I had a great time. I, 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 I would love to. Uh, blast butts again anytime. Awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe have him back on here, unless this, this video gets like a million downvotes for some reason. I don't uh, think it MVG. will, but you never know. The YouTube people are weird. Anyway. People are going to find out my, like, problematic past where I, like, <laughs> kicked puppies for a living or something. <laughs> for a living. No, see, at least <laughs> that way I could understand it, because you got, guys got to make money. I respect the hustle, even if it's uh, kick, puppy kicking hustle. It wasn't a good job, but my landlord wouldn't accept exposure, so what was I supposed to do? He wouldn't ex ex he wouldn't accept exposure, but he did accept kicking puppies. He was kind yeah, of that weird was very like odd. that. Yeah. Man's gotta eat. Blame capitalism. But I Oh I do. Don't you worry about that. But yeah, that th thanks again, and until next time, good luck. Oh, I thought I was saying good luck. I had it memorized. <laughs> Well, hey there, sport. I see I made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Just wanted to take a moment to thank all my patrons for making the show possible, but especially the high-tier patrons who allow me to top deck hope. They are Salt Lake Kale, Buster Blader, Hobsy, Munchry, Chris W, Austin Glover, Daniel Frowsing, J3 Puffin, Lucas Geardis, Slamuel, Antonio Simonelli, Quintingent, Dancing Joker, Inner Hype, Mr. Eiffel, Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, Live Bait, Diotic, Jeffrey Langrano, and Manuel Torres. Each and every one of them has my undying gratitude. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link is in the description and on the screen. And this episode's secret passcode of the day is... Subscribe to MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! Be sure to include that on a comment on MBT's videos to show that you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks again, and have a nice day.